There seems to be a little bit of confusion on how to use Face Mover, so I thought I'd put this video together as a demonstration of how the product works. The first thing you need to do is pick a photo. You can take one off your iPhone uh, if you have an iPhone with a camera, um, or you can look at your photo albums, or you can look at, do a Facebook search or a web search. Uh, for this demonstration, I'm just going to pick one off of my photo albums. And uh, let's pick one quickly. I got a few too many in here. So here's my daughter's photo. And at this point, um, you know, the face is not exactly zoomed in. So it's kind of hard to pick the eyes and the chin accurately. So what you can do is you can actually zoom in like so. And then find one eye and click on it. And you can see as if you hold down, you know, a little pop-up shows where your thumb is, the image underneath your finger, so that you can select the eye very accurately and center it as such. And you can pick the other eye. And then finally it asks you to mark the chin. So we'll do that. And we can move on to the next step. And at this point, you have a selection of sample images, which are out of copyright. Or you can also do a search for on the web or on Facebook, um, you know, for friends, photos, and things like that. But uh, let's just take one of the sample images. Now you see it's already it's zoomed up a little bit too much. But if I double click, just like uh, uh, the web browser, it'll zoom out. Um, and uh, let's see here, let's just pick the Mona Lisa. And at this point, I can also do the same thing again, zooming in on the image. And this could be image off the internet as well, the steps are the same. Again, you see, zooms up on the eye, zooms up on the other eye. I click on the chin, and I can move on to the next step. There's Gabby. Now Gabby's been moved to the Mona Lisa again. It's zoomed up, up a little too much. I can double click, see the face. Now you see Gabby's actually looking this way when she needs to be looking that way for the Mona Lisa. So a flip feature does that and here she is looking the right way. And if it isn't quite exactly what you want, you can actually move it around a bit as well. Again here you can also zoom in and move it to exactly where you want it to be. Usually where the system finds it is pretty close to where you want it. So here's Gabby on the Mona Lisa. At that point I can send it. And we'll ask you, do you want to send it by email or Facebook? I can place it on Facebook and actually I've already logged in on Facebook so it's already good to do this but normally if you haven't done this yet a little Facebook page will show up to ask you for your username and password. And uh, after a short amount of time <clears throat> the uh, image will be posted and you'll, your friends will be able to see it on Facebook. All right, thank you, that's it.